Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to import an AutoCAD drawing of a site and then to automatically create points in it so that the surface and contours can be produced using Civil 3D. So I've downloaded the drawing file, it's on my desktop, so I'm just going to open that now. It's called Sample Site A. and the survey looks like this. So at the moment this is an AutoCAD drawing, not an AutoCAD Civil 3D drawing, just a regular AutoCAD drawing. So you can see some information like the description codes, the point numbers and the elevations from an old drawing. But as of right now that drawing is not good for making a Civil 3D model out of, we have to create points on it. So on the Prospector tab we need to go to the points and do a right click and come to create the points. The option we want to use is convert AutoCAD points. So left click on that and if you look at the command line now it's saying to us select AutoCAD points. We can draw a selection box over the entire AutoCAD drawing and press enter. It's going to ask us do we want to change the description for each point, uh, which we can do. For now, I'm going to ignore that. So to set the point, create the point, you have to hit enter each time. Now there are uh, about 150 points in this. So I'm just hitting the enter button every time. You can probably hear it in the background. And every time I hit the enter button, what was a AutoCAD point is now becoming an AutoCAD Civil 3D point. Okay, when they're all created, you can press enter and you'll know that they're created because with points highlighted up here in the prospector, you will also see down here the points that have been created. 123 of them in total with easting, northing and elevation automatically generated. So those points are now in the AutoCAD Civil 3D database coming from an AutoCAD, regular AutoCAD drawing, which is what we started with. So that's the points created. Next thing we need to do to create our surfaces is to go to the surface part of the menu, select create surface. What we're looking for is a tin surface, that's fine and we need to at least change the name of the surface. It's a good habit to get into to change the name of it. So I'm just going to call this topographic and clicking on OK. Now that has created the surface so if I go back up here to surfaces I now see a little plus and if I click on that I see the name of the surface I've created but right now that surface doesn't have any information in it. All it has is a name so I need to expand that by clicking the little plus expand the definition by clicking the little plus beside that and then I need to tell it what points to include in that surface. So over point groups I do a right click, click on add and I select all points. So every point that's in my drawing is now going to become part of the surface and I can change that later. I can take points out of it and I can add points into it. For right now we're just taking a kind of a simplistic view and we're just going to put all the points of the database into the surface. So when you've made sure that's selected, make sure it's blue, click on apply, click on OK, and you'll see now you've got a yellow border around the site. Can't see any triangles or anything there at the moment, um, and I'm going to do another follow on video just to show you how to go from this point to creating contours. So this is the end of the first part, uh, which is just taking an AutoCAD drawing and making a point database out of it that can be used in Civil 3D. It's the end of part one. Part two will start shortly and it will continue from this point here.